Borderlands, the pre-sequel. We're doing the vault symbols and challenges. We're out at the waste, double A gamer for life. Okay, um, there's three vault symbols out here, uh, right starting from our station, uh, <clears throat> right where the machines are, uh, underneath the stairs. There's a container and against the wall is our first symbol. Okay, uh, there's only, uh, there's three symbols and one challenge out here. When we get out to the range, uh, there's um, more challenges out there. I believe there's going to be uh, two sets of four of uh, echo recordings that we're going to find. And <clears throat> there's several crates out there as well. All right, starting right there is our first fold symbol. Like I said, it's against the wall behind this container under the stairs. That's your first volt symbol. Okay, uh, pretty much the first quest this girl sends you out to go get an Oz kit. And in that building is where the next volt symbol is and a crate. So just jump across to the other side is the crate. And then on top of this building is where the volt symbol is. On the average, uh, we haven't found a whole lot of weapons out of the crates. Uh, we came across some weapons that we have. Uh, anytime me and Demented Priest, uh, you know, get something good, we just dupe it to each other. Uh, it's just the way we roll. Of course, you know, any of your co-op friends, you know, you're gonna, you know, share your weapons with. Right now we're at uh, middle of level eight and we pretty much just got done with all the challenges out there, Cacornia, and we're gonna move on. Unfortunately, there's only one challenge out there that I could not get and uh, it's not really any kind of video help that would help with that particular challenge. It's uh, you know very much just like Borderland 2 when you went out to Man Moxie in the, the century, you had to uh, hit the jackpot in her bar and it's kind of the same thing here uh, when you get out to Mad Moxie's bar out there there's a challenge for hitting the jackpot now in Borderlands 2 there was some talk about uh, the more co-op people you had Never the better your luck was in the, the slot machines I don't know I've done it for an hour or so and I'm pretty much over it and I just cannot get a jackpot God knows I've hit uh, enough of the, the boom times and uh, the wet, you know, white and green weapons, and the best I could say is I got a halfway decent shotgun out of the all the time I've been playing the slot machines. But anyway, that's our third volt symbol. Okay, um, prior to this, uh, we're level four, but uh, we just didn't see the. Uh, for whatever reason, I don't know, but uh, after going out to the range and coming back, uh, I was out running around this area, and eventually uh, you can't really miss him. Well, I suppose you could miss him, but he's a totally different color than the other Kragans. And uh, so I was like, all right, that's what I'm looking for. Alright, this blue shotgun they give you with the game, uh, pretty badass shotgun, and anytime the, it's been hitting the fan, I pull the shotgun out, this thing gets it done. And even at level 8, I still use it, but uh, I've kind of found some good torque shotguns that I'm using right now, so I put this in the, the bank, but I'll probably wind up selling it because they give it to you when you start the game, so there's really no sense in uh, keeping it. Anyway, that's our two challenges, or our challenge, and the three volt symbols out here at the waist. We'll see you over at the range.